Hello, I am Pratiksha Karkera. Welcome to the Palmer Update News Show from Mumbai. The world is worried about bullish crude and where rates are headed in the days ahead. We have global energy expert Vandana Hari, founder of Vanda Insights, sharing her views on the dramatic climb in crude prices exclusively with Palmer Update. Hi Vandana, thank you for speaking with Palmer Update. This week has seen a bullish start to crude with so many triggers pushing rates to near the 80 US dollars barrel mark. Your comments please. Brent crude futures are making a break again for the $80 per barrel mark, barely 40 cents away from that psychologically important number as of the afternoon in Asia on the 17th of May. Crude futures have been rising for three straight sessions since the start of this week, mainly on the back of rising concerns over Iranian and Venezuelan crude supplies. And of course, also supported by the latest monthly data from OPEC, as well as the International Energy Agency, showing that OECD oil stocks have lost nearly all their surplus to the five-year average as at the end of April. Didn't the API data also show a sharp drop in crude inventories for the week ended May 11th? Weekly data from the U.S. Energy Information Administration released on Wednesday also proved to be bullish, showing an across-the-board drawdown in commercial inventories of crude as well as refined products in the country. Vandana, there has been news about the EU uniting in their attempts to save the Iran nuclear deal. What are your thoughts on this? Now, the leaders of 28 European countries that met in Bulgaria Wednesday did agree to having a united EU approach to saving the Iran nuclear deal, as long as Tehran honors it as well, but they did not reach any concrete decisions. Meanwhile, concerns are continuing to grow among European companies that they would be penalized by U.S. secondary sanctions if they continued dealing with Iran, regardless of their own government's support for the Islamic Republic. French energy giant Total on Wednesday said it will wind down its operations to develop Iran's phase 11 of the South Pars gas field by November 4th unless it secures a waiver of sanctions by the U.S. The IEA has revised its global demand target for crude for this year. How will this impact prices going forward? OECD oil inventories dipped 1 million barrels below their five-year average as at the end of April, the IEA said in its latest monthly oil market report Wednesday. The IEA also revised down its annual global oil demand growth estimate for this year from 1.5 million barrels per day to 1.4 million barrels per day, citing the impact of higher oil prices on consumption. That did exert a bit of bearish pressure on crude futures during intraday trading uh, right after the report was released, but that was soon overcome by supply concerns, especially amid a thinning global oil, oil inventory cushion. Thank you for your valuable insights, Vandana. That's all for today. Many thanks for watching. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Palmer Update and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at Palmer Update. For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon.